What's going on everybody? Brandon here, back with another action figure review. Super, super excited. Again, we're taking a look at the Batman. So many brand new figures have dropped. These are the brand new 12 inch figures from Spin Master. The classic Batman, wingsuit Batman, and Selena Kyle. Super, super excited for this. It'll be really nice to take a look at Batman in a larger scale as opposed to the four inch figures that we have been looking at previously. We'll really be able to dive into all the detail and see just exactly what we're getting and hopefully draw up some more conclusions of what Batman will look like in the movie and all the details that he comes with. Taking a look next at the wingsuit Batman. This one looks incredible, you guys. Super, super excited for this. Pretty cool. And then when you press his belt, pretty awesome. A really cool looking figure. Definitely a great gimmick for little kids and definitely something that collectors are gonna wanna have from this movie. Again, we, we conjure up that at some point Batman will fly in this movie or take flight. And you can see that the other figures that are available is Wingsuit Batman, Selina Kyle, and Batman. I think this one is kind of like our four inch figure where it just clips onto his wrists and his ankles. So definitely interesting. And here is the UPC if you need it. Oh, let me flip that. There you go. Super, super excited for these. And uh, I think there's also a five pack as well. Um, that's a Target exclusive and it comes with Batman Unmasked and Oswald Cobblepot. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And I think it comes with the same Selena and the same regular Batman, but uh, there's also a Bat Cycle. Uh, haven't found that one yet. Hopefully soon, fingers crossed. Um, here's the UPC for Selena Kyle if you need it. All right, super, super excited. We're gonna get these figures out of the packaging and take a closer look, stay tuned. All right, we got our 12 inch figures out of the packaging. These guys look awesome. All right, so taking a look first at our basic standard 12 inch Batman figure. This guy looks incredible. I really do like this a lot. It's pretty much just an exploded view of the same four inch scale sculpt that we got. Only this time we can really appreciate all of the detail and we can see all of the hard work that has gone into this sculpt. For a basic $10 figure, this is pretty incredible, you guys. If you get nothing else from this movie, you should at least drop 10 bucks and just get this guy. He's awesome, super, Super excited for this movie. If I wasn't already, I really am now. I really do love all this detail. All of these standard figures, standard 12 inch figures, they are only $10, $9.99 at Target. The wingsuit Batman, however, was 20 bucks. I mean, with wings to pop out, lights, and he talks, that's a pretty good deal, I think, for 20 bucks. Here's the backside. Again, like I said, just the exact same sculpt that we got. Wow, and the zippers for the boots that is really nice so yes same four inch sculpt only this time now we can really really understand and appreciate it for what it is a really cool looking figure for batman's articulation he's got movement in his head side to side he can also look up just a little bit down just a little bit a really cool figure I really, I can't tell you guys how much I like the look of this guy. His arms come out, forward and back, full 360. There's a bend at the elbow. Unfortunately, there is no twist. His wrist does a full 360. Check out his gauntlets, you guys. This is super cool. It looks like there's some type of gadget or gizmo attached to his gauntlets. I think we may have seen this in the movie where it comes out and into his hand and maybe that's his back grapple. The same thing is happening on the other side, sculpted the exact same way. So definitely very interesting and just super cool. I am really, really looking forward to this movie. Um, we can see some more extra detail there in the belt. And I just think overall, this is gonna be, this is gonna be great, you guys. I think we're in for a real treat with this movie. Batman has no waist articulation of any kind. His leg goes out forward and it doesn't really go back at all and he does have a single joint bend 
at the knee. Some really cool articulation. If you do nothing else, you guys, I got to tell you, for 10 bucks, this is definitely the Batman you want to get. Taking a look next at Wingsuit Batman, a really cool looking figure. So piggybacking off of the same sculpt that we got with our basic Batman figure. As far as I'm aware, this is the exact same sculpt except for the chest and stomach piece. The arm should be exactly the same um, with the same sculpt work in there for the gauntlets. That has the launcher for his back grapple. And same thing on the other side. It looks like it's exactly the same. So these cuffs fit in right there where his elbows are. And they fit in very nicely. They go out and they go back in. So if you need to move Batman around, you can do so easily. And a very, very nice piece. Again, the legs are exactly the same with the same deal here. These just attach and detach very nicely. I'll detach this to try to show you Batman's backside. Unfortunately, he's got uh, this attachment here, which doesn't really come off. So it's a little bit more difficult to see Batman's backside, uh, but it is there. This is where the batteries attach and you can see the on and off switches on Batman's backside. Just a really, really nice standard looking piece. One that I'm really excited to have. These are not actually peg holes at the bottom of his feet. This was just part of the packaging that they used to keep Batman in place in his box. A really, really cool looking figure. Super excited to go through these phrases right now and see what it is that we can learn about Batman in this movie. Hopefully something good. Hopefully it doesn't give too much away. I'm sure it won't. They planned this release. So... With this Batman figure, he's got the button on his belt, and that lets the wings come out. And the wings can go farther just a little bit. I think my hand was in the way there, so we'll try that again. Deploying wingsuit. Here, let me try one more time. Maybe like this. Okay, let's see. Pretty cool. So it doesn't work here after you deploy the wings. And you can see that the wingspan is pretty good. Pretty monstrous, actually. I really like that. Definitely looks like a bat. And uh, the design of it is that there's two points at this end and this end. Very nice. And then Batman has a lot of phrases Let's go through it. The box says he's got 20 plus phrases. So we'll try it with the wings in, wings out, and let's see how many phrases we get out of our new Batman figure. Time to fly. Interesting. Okay, and then with the wings out. I'm vengeance. Time to fly. Hmm. Let me see if I can change this back here. It looks like it's already on two. Maybe if I put it on one. Maybe that'll make a difference. We got zero, one, and two. I had it on two. It looks like he was repeating the same phrases. I would assume two is the play mode, but maybe that was try me. So now we'll do this again. Let's see if we get any more phrases. I fight for justice. Yeah, we do. Oh man, this is interesting. Interesting. Oh man, this is getting good. Let's go. I am the knight. Riddler, beware. Interesting. 
All right, and I think that is the bulk of the phrases that we're going to get out of this guy. Very cool, very interesting. He fights for justice. He's vengeance. He's the knight. Riddler beware. Super, super cool. I'm so stoked for this movie. Interesting. Not sure what that was. Let's go. I'm vengeance. Time to fly. Some more phrases in there for you guys. Really, really interesting stuff. Um, I thought I'd heard him say a couple of those and then realized that he didn't say them. So I guess he'll repeat some phrases, but if you continue to cycle through, he'll still say a couple new things among the 20 plus phrases. So for Batman's articulation real quick, detaching the wings, he's got movement in his head, just like our previous Batman, side to side, and he can look up just a little bit, which is kind of nice for when he flies. I wish it could look up just a little bit more and be on a ball joint or something with a peg. Uh, that, that rotates back, but you know, for 20 bucks, it's still a pretty good figure. So I'm not going to complain too much there. His arms are really loose and that's probably because of the mechanism that allows his arms to go out. Um, and they, they could do a full 360 hindered by the cape though. Of course, there's a bend at the elbows and there's no twist at the elbows. There's full wrist articulation. There's no waist articulation. His legs come out. They go this far out and they don't go back and they come forward about that far. And there's a single joint bend at the knee. A really cool figure, you guys. Super excited for this movie. Of course, it's not Robert Pattinson's voice, but still, nevertheless, that was a really nice quick look into some of the phrases and sounds that we'll hear hopefully in the movie. And it gives us a better idea of what this Batman is, who he is, and what he stands for. Very cool. Next, taking a look at Catwoman or Selina Kyle, we can tell that she definitely looks like Zoe Kravitz. This is an absolutely in large scale of the same four inch figure that we got for sure. But man, look at that detail in her face. That is actually really, really good. Um, I think definitely on par with what Marvel has been doing with her Titan heroes. This is really good, and it definitely looks like the actress to me. I think shrunken down on a four-inch scale, it's a little bit tougher to see all the detail that goes into Catwoman's sculpt. And I can tell there's definitely a lot of sculpt work here that went into hers as well. It's just not as, I guess, busy and intricate as Batman's costume. And so maybe that's why it's a little bit underplayed or not as appreciated for what it is overall but definitely a really nice costume. And you can tell that they really paid attention to all the details that they were given. No peg holes at the bottom of the feet and on her backside. So pretty much it's just a back and forth between uh, smooth and then the rigid or lined texture. But still a really, really cool piece for $10. If you're a Catwoman fan, this is gonna be really, really cool for you. Because the last time Catwoman got her debut on screen, 2012, Dark Knight Rises, and before that, 1989, or no, 1992, Batman Returns. All right, really, really cool stuff for her articulation. She's got movement in her head, side to side. It is on a ball joint. Can she look up? Uh, No. Can she look down? Well, just a little bit. Just a little bit there. And then her arms come out. They go forward, back. There's a bend. Is there a twist? There is a twist at her elbow, which Batman did not have. And she's got wrist articulation, full 360. No waist articulation. Her legs come out about this far and forward. And they don't go back. And there is a single bend at the knee. Very nice. Very cool figure. I really kind of wish she came with some type of accessory or maybe a whip, or some claws, or something. But still, for 10 bucks, a great figure. For a size comparison, here's our brand new basic 12 inch Batman figure with some of his previous counterparts. Very interesting to see him next to Batflick. That's the latest version there from the Justice League movie in 2017. 
and to see him next to the uh, standard Spin Master figures, the comic book versions, you can tell those ones have a lot more muscle and that our new Robert Pattinson Batman is a little bit more slim. So that's definitely interesting. I feel like he fits in very, very nicely. So if you're a Batman collector throughout the ages, this is definitely going to be a really cool pickup for you and a nice one to add to your collection. For our wingsuit Batman, here's an interesting comparison. Next to Spin Master's latest deluxe Batman figure, the uh, Bat Tech Batman with the wings that deploy. Very, very interesting to see this. Here they are side by side with Bat Tech Batman from the other side. Looks like his wingspan is just a hair longer. Very interesting. But uh, definitely very similar gimmick. Very interesting that uh, we got it this way where we got a cloth cape and no accessories, uh, but a light up feature. But then here we also get a light up feature, two accessories and his hands light up as well. So um, if you could take it or leave it, they're both the same price point. I think one definitely has a few more cooler features than the other, but both are really cool and they fit in very nice together. And for a new Selena Kyle figure, here she is next to a couple previous 12 inch Batman female figures. We've got the Spin Master Harley Quinn on the right and the old Mattel Batgirl on the left. She fits in very nicely and I think she'll be a great addition to your collection. Comic book or movie, newer or older, she definitely fits in very nice. And for one more comparison, here's all three of our new figures with a couple of other 12 inch scale figures. We can see that our new Batman fits in very nicely with the brand new Spider-Man figures. And we can see that Catwoman fits in very nicely with the MCU. That Captain Marvel looks great there next to her. This is really, really awesome, you guys. And what a time to be a kid. There's so many figures you can get in the 12 inch scale. It's incredible. And the likeness to the character actors from the movie is just phenomenal. So really cool. Definitely excited to have these new figures in my collection. Pretty awesome. For another comparison, here's all of our new 12 inch figures with their four inch counterparts. And this is really cool, really interesting to see. Aside from that wingsuit Batman, they're relatively the same cost. Your four inch figures are $8.99 and your standard 12 inch figures are $9.99. So really as a collector, it's up to you to decide what you wanna do, if you wanna get both, uh, if you want to get just the 4-inch figures or just the 12-inch figures, hopefully this will give you a pretty good idea of what you're in for. I would have to say the 12-inch figures definitely got to be more kid-friendly than the smaller ones. Still very, very interesting to see. Is, and as a collector, very happy to have both. Pretty awesome. All right, you guys, that about does it for this action figure review. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, we got the standard 12-inch Batman and Selena Kyle. Those guys were $10, $9.99, and then we got our wingsuit Batman, and he was $19.99 or $20. I found all of these guys at Target. Definitely, that's the place to go. They had a ton of merch out, so if you're looking for the new Batman stuff, definitely go to your local Target. I really kind of wish these guys came with some accessories. Um, I find myself really just wanting that. I think it's because they get spoiled with the 4-inch figures. And they had accessories, but like, man, I really want a Batarang and maybe a grapple gun for my 12-inch Batman figure. Anyways, you guys, let me know what your thoughts are on these in the comments below. If you're going to pick up or pass, what you're excited to see. If there's anything out there that you're on the hunt for, maybe I should be on the lookout for as well. Some really, really cool figures. Super excited for this movie. You guys, there's a lot more Batman merch coming as I find it. I will absolutely review it. So keep it right here at my channel. Once again, I'm Brandon, and thanks for watching.